What's the most important quality of a spring? What makes a spring a spring and not a string? It's springiness. So, what's springiness? Say, I've got a spring. When I stretch the spring, the spring rebounds to its original length. Now, in springland, I have three floors with three identical springs fixed to the wall. This spring's just hanging out, but this spring is being stretched. The stick figure exerts maximum force and displaces the end of the spring by x. The spring exerts an equal and opposite force on the stick figure. The final spring will be displaced by 2x. How many stick figures do I need to do this? 2. When displacement is doubled, the force exerted by the spring also doubles. So, the force increases linearly with displacement, but in the opposite direction. Because of this, we have a single power of x and a negative constant. But how much energy is stored? Energy can be measured using the area under the force displacement curve. Here's some unit analysis to convince you. Note that joules are not the same as newton meters. So, if my one stick figure used one joule, how many did my other two stick figures use? On my force displacement curve, when I double displacement, that's the x, I get 1, 2, 3, 4 times the area. So, my two stick figures exert 4 joules combined. Let's examine the force displacement curve for a Hooke's Law spring, also called an ideal spring. When the spring is stretched or compressed, it produces a force opposite the direction of displacement. At the origin, there is no displacement and no force. This is called equilibrium. When stretched, the spring produces a force back towards equilibrium, passes through equilibrium, and goes right to compression, where it produces a force towards equilibrium again. The spring moves back and forth between these positions, a motion known as oscillation. Oscillation simply means to move back and forth in a repetitive pattern around an equilibrium point. Oscillations can be found in a mass hanging on a spring, stringed instruments, a car trapped on a frictionless track between two bumpers, a speaker, the crystal oscillator in quartz watches, molecular vibrations, the release of insulin into the bloodstream, and an adolescent on a swing. But not all of these oscillations are simple harmonic oscillations. In order to be a simple harmonic oscillator, the force on the object must be linearly dependent on its displacement from the equilibrium position. In fact, only the mass hanging on a spring and the adolescent on a swing are simple harmonic oscillators. The motion of simple harmonic oscillators can be defined using the sine function. Using this equation, a is the amplitude, omega is the angular frequency, and delta is the phase shift or phase constant. Let's examine the graph of the position of a simple harmonic oscillator over time. The amplitude is one half of the range, the distance between the maximum and minimum. The period is the time it takes for one full oscillation. At these points, the object has the same position, velocity, and acceleration. Beware this common error. Although the position and acceleration are the same, the velocity is opposite. The second curve has double the angular frequency of the first curve. Note that the angular frequency and the period are inversely proportionate. So, the period is halved when the angular frequency is doubled. We can determine the functions for velocity and acceleration by taking the derivative. Because the sine or cosine of any value cannot be greater than 1, we can determine the maximum position, velocity, and acceleration of the object. The angular frequency can be calculated using the period or frequency of the oscillation. The angular frequency of a mass on a spring can be calculated using the mass and the spring constant. The angular frequency of a pendulum can be calculated with the length and gravitational acceleration. Note that the mass does not affect the movement of a pendulum. The first curve has a phase shift of zero. 
This curve has a phase shift of pi over 4. The curve has been shifted to the left by 1 eighth of a period. To determine actual time shifted, you can divide the phase shift by the angular frequency. This curve has a phase shift of negative pi over 4. It shifts to the right. This curve, with a phase shift of 7 pi over 4, is identical to the last curve. This is because negative pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4 differ by 2 pi. A shift of 2 pi moves the graph over one period, making no visible difference to the transformed curve.